Hi guys, welcome back to uh, another lesson that I've got for you. Uh, this is lesson 19 in my series of uh, computer programming lessons in BASIC. If you recall from the last lesson, we did a bubble sort program um, that I tried to explain to you. And from the previous lesson, uh, we did the uh, lucky lottery number generator, which generated six numbers. The bubble sort program sorted 10 random numbers that were generated so i asked you to try and have a look at uh, performing a merge if you like of the two programs and making it so that the bubble generator the uh, sorry not the bubble generator the lottery generator program when the numbers were printed out in the original program they weren't printed out in ascending numerical order so i asked you to try and work it out so that we could create a program that would generate the six random numbers for the lottery and then sort them and print them out in ascending numerical order. So this is the program to do that. As you can see, it's over here. Um, it's not as long as you probably thought. We've taken bits and bats from both programs and combined them. We've had to make some minor changes, but other than that, nothing major. So. <clears throat> Really, this program doesn't need a lot of explaining, but I'll go through some of the changes that we've done anyway. In effect, what we're wanting to do, basically, is to create a program that will give you six lucky dip numbers. Lucky dip will be a term familiar to you if you do the UK National Lottery. May not be familiar to you if you do lotteries in other countries. But basically, it means that the computer picks six numbers for you when you go to the lottery terminal to buy your ticket. Instead of you putting your numbers in there, you can say to them, give us a lucky dip and the computer will generate six random numbers for you and put them on the ticket that's basically what it is so in effect that's what we're creating here okay as i say there's not a lot of explaining to do but let's have a quick look at the finished program and then i'll run it for you and let you see how it works okay <coughs> excuse me if you compare this program with the well the first part obviously d deals with generating this part down to line 100 deals with generating the six random numbers not much change there however you will notice for those of you who want to compare the two programs the one from lesson 17 and this one is that instead of using array s for sugar we have used array x the reason for that is because it's simpler to change one letter because if we did if we stuck with the original dim s we'd have to change all these x's to s down here so i've changed that to x up there to make it a lot simpler all it does is instead of putting the six random numbers into x position sorry s position one to six it now puts them into x position one to six we've let m equal six if you remember in the last bubble sort program m was equal to 10 because we were sorting 10 numbers we're only sorting six numbers in this program, so I've changed M to six. So that's two minor changes that we've made so far. This basically is the same. Uh, you will notice that the line numbers have changed. <coughs> Excuse me. The line numbers have changed because in the two programs, which all both started at 10, certain line numbers clashed with other line numbers from the other program. Uh, we've added bits in, took bits out, so the jumps will have changed, etc. Now, with the line numbers changing down here, we've had to rename, renumber those. Obviously, the jump statements have changed and, and, and what have you, so you've got to make sure that you actually go through your program when you're merging two programs and make sure that the go-tos actually go to where they should go to. Okay, so... <clears throat> This generates your your six numbers, as I've already said, and it doesn't need any explaining. It is explained in lesson 17, so there's absolutely no need for me to explain that at all. If you do need any more explanation, go back to, le uh, to lesson 17, have a look at the text, have a look at the video, and you will see it all explained there. The next part of the program, which is from line 110 through to line 180, again is exactly the same as the um, one in the last program uh, lesson 18 which was the bubble sort program the only changes really that we've made to this one um, are the fact that we've altered the go to to 
line 170 that's all the only change is 170 is that the line number jump is 170 as opposed to the different line number in the other program it goes to the same statement next c goes to the, exactly the same statement but because line one it wasn't line 170 in the last program it goes there now again if you need any explaining for this part of the program then go down to the last lesson uh, lesson 18 and watch the video again read the text again have a look at it on the site and that will explain everything for you there and then of course the last part of the program these few lines here this basically just prints out a, a line uh, just to set put you on a new line then we print out the title your lucky numbers are and then a simple loop again that doesn't need any explaining it was explained in the last uh, program uh, that just prints out the values 1 to 6 which by this point are sorted and then of course the program ends now of course do remember that it's extremely important when you're combining two programs to make sure that your values are the same i.e. a good good show here was the, the dim x if I'd have left that as dim s forgotten about it and then carried on with x down here and, and not realised that I was putting them into array s but trying to print array x out then of course you're not going to get the correct answer out of your program so so bear that in mind it does take a little bit of thought but it does take a lot of the work out when you're combining two programs it saves you rewriting the whole program and then of course do remember that you've got to renumber your lines if you use line numbers into your particular basic uses line numbers that is and make sure that your jumps go to where they're supposed to go to okay with that in mind let's have a run of this program shall we and see uh, exactly what happens so there you go, your lucky numbers are, it's picked six numbers as you can see. There's no duplicates in there, and they all go up in ascending order. 1, 3, 11, 20, 41 and 42. And obviously they're all between 1 and 49. So as you can see the program does work, we'll just give that another run for you. And let you see how that goes. Run again. And again, there we go. It's all listed up in numerical order, 1, 7, 9, 23, 30, 41. So as you can see, the program worked, guys. There's not really much more I can add to this uh, program, to, to the description for you. Um, hopefully you'll get that. So if you are struggling, as I say, refer to the last two lessons, and you will have full explanation in the text and with the videos that I, accompanying videos I did with them. We hope to uh, see you around soon. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube, YouTube channel. Please rate and favourite the videos. And hopefully we'll see you again very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.